Well, good morning. It is a gorgeous looking morning out here. A lot colder than, uh, than it has been. Ben's down the end of the driveway there. Oh, he's coming. He's been icing his nuts in the middle of the driveway all morning. I probably would be too. I don't really blame him. Hey, Ben. How you doing this morning, buddy? We just had him neutered the other day. So anyways, today I was going to start on doing a little bit of cleanup in the shop. And probably trying to build a bit of a grain store like a small shed that we can put the grain totes in got thinking last night about <laughs> much needed real estate in the shop and how that's a little bit impractical we've got a couple of projects we're going to finish off namely carmen shelf i was just going to move that out of the way and start building this other thing but right in front of where that's going to be we have two ride-on lawn tractors one with the mower one with the tiller and the one with the mower the uh the steering mechanism's busted out of it. And the one with the tiller, the starter cable's ripped off of it. So we had to push them both in there. We should probably work on those while the sun's not shining. And uh, as opposed to coming, you know, May and being like, oh, I need to mow the lawn and till the garden up and not being able Anyhow, to. As you can hear, we got some chores to do. So we're gonna get the chickens, chickens fed, the sheep fed, piggies fed, the other sheep fed. And then we'll get on with our projects for the day. So I'm not going to hold it against them because they are pigs. And thus they eat like pigs. But uh, this big fella here, just sitting in the trough. You can kind of already see this trough we built. You're starting to pull some screws out. So Charlotte and I are just in the chicken house here with the no freeze chicken water. This is something we built a few months back before we got all this cold, cold weather. And it has been successful in preventing any freeze ups has been absolutely awesome so i just filled it up and uh just about to pull the plug let the chickens get a drink here there we go the other day i came in here and i did it again today just cranked my head off of this two by four so as you can see it's a, it's a pretty good height if you're not watching where you're going in the summertime like when we first start putting wood shavings in here not an issue but over the course of winter as they build up you know we've probably come up a full foot so seven months of the year i'm able to just glide right underneath this thing but here we are now in december and it's uh you got to watch your step that's you for sure see on the floor here this is wood shavings and manure it is nice and dry as you get down there's a little bit of material down here it's got some humidity in it and that's going to work to generate some heat. There's a little bit of composting action happening on the floor, as well as insulation. And this stuff is going to be absolute gold uh, for, com for a compost starter for next year. Last year we put it, in, or really this year, we put it in between our rows of trees because it's going to be really, really hot. It's going to help to control uh, incipient weed growth, as well as add carbon to the soil. But yeah, this is going to be our compost starter for next year when we add all the bedding and manure that comes out of the sheep pens after the winter. We talked a little bit last week about some pasture regeneration that we're doing in behind the shop here and how the sheep are putting all a heavy blanket of manure down across the hill. So one of our viewers, Glenn, he was asking if in the spring we're gonna take the side-by-side -side out with a set of harrows and just drag and spread that material. And that is something that we did uh, last year, but now, over the summer, I guess, we really learned that the chickens can do all that work for us. We don't really have to. So all I'm gonna do, cause I mean the chickens are, like the chicken house is here and the little sheep paddock is right there. So I'm literally just gonna open the gate and have the chickens in there and feed the chickens in that field every day, right beside the manure piles. You boys behave. And uh, as, the fly, as it warms up, the flies are gonna come lay their larvae in there and the chickens are gonna scratch through and spread all of that material without any human intervention whatsoever. So as I mentioned, this afternoon's projects are gonna be these two tractors. This one, I gotta rip the mower deck off to get to the steering mechanism and replace that steering plate and probably the gear as well. This one here, I gotta pull this side plate off uh, and get to the starter. And then, uh, I don't know, once they, once they get there, I'll, I'll have to see what I need for a wiring connector because Last year, I needed nine men, a billy goat, and a screwdriver to get this thing fired up just to get it parked here for the winter. 
And the reality is I need, I need this real estate. There's projects we want to work on. It was the whole point of building the shop this big is that we could work on stuff in here over the winter. I'll tell you one thing. So you see Carmen's trucks over there with the horse trailer hooked onto it. I gotta get that thing moved over beside the holiday trailer on the other side of the yard and disconnect it. But uh, it's, it's very emasculating having a broken rib right now. Holding Charlotte's like, it's a constant pain, but if I gotta like jack that trailer up, oh my goodness. It would, so I've actually got to wait for my wife to come home to unhook the trailer for me. It's, uh, yeah, boy, is that ever a shot to the ego. Okay, so it's, what is it, the 12th of December? Yeah, and some, some folks might think this is a bit premature, but I actually just pulled the trigger on, uh, on our 2021 chicken order. Yeah, that's right, I contacted Miller Hatcheries today and ordered 75 Cornish Giant chicks to come in uh, the last week of April in 2021 so <laughs> you might think well why so early well last year we ordered in february and uh and it wasn't very long and everybody was just like losing their mind and you couldn't find chickens and then it wasn't very long after that that you couldn't find uh seeds and then you couldn't find canning stuff and so i'm just preempting that for 2021 i'm getting ahead of the rush so that uh we have some food security so i was gonna move the truck and the trailer and get it parked over there. As it was mentioned earlier, I feel a little bit emasculated not being able to get the trailer off by myself. But uh, yeah, I got my man card back because I can't find the keys and I have to ask my wife where she put them. So, I mean, that's about as manly as it gets, not being able to find stuff without help from the wife, right? So I'm just under the lawn tractor, the John Deere lawn tractor, and you can see this is the steering gear here that's worn out and the teeth on the steering plate behind it also worn out. So it looks like one, two, three bolts. I should be able to get this off. And then I'll probably have to unbolt the end of this uh, steering arm here and pop everything free. So shouldn't be too terribly bad as long as it's not too tight. I won't have to pull too hard on the old ratchet. And uh, it won't hurt the ribs too bad. Are you helping daddy? Charlotte, are you feeding the cat? No. What are you trying to do? Oh, you're trying to clean up. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you scoop it all back in the dish. So there you go, that's the new one installed. It's got uh, a little bit more bite than the old one did, that's for sure. Come out, you can see that's wore right out all the way around and this one here you can definitely see those teeth are just chewed right off so she was time well that's one tractor almost fixed i'm gonna work on getting that deck back on after supper but for now i think i deserve some chicken fingers and macaroni right charlotte oh yeah supper of champions so i'm gonna run inside get that fixed up so i'll let you go for now Hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.